modern infrastructure is being built around the world at a dizzying pace, and a thriving construction industry globally highlights some amazing construction projects. Some really astounding construction projects in the world are proposed, developed, and finished every year in Germany. In this video, we'll walk you through the top 10 construction projects in the world. Whether you want to call them mega projects, architectural marvels, or simply mind-blowing builds, these projects continue to set the standard for the next newsworthy construction. All of these projects are examples of cutting-edge engineering and architectural achievements. The Femern Belt Fixed Link Project The Femern Belt Fixed Link, the longest immersed tunnel in the world, is currently being constructed to span an 18-kilometer section of the Femern Belt in the Baltic Sea between the German island of Femern and the Danish island of Lolland. With a construction expenditure of more than US$8.2 billion, the project for building the tunnel in question is one of Europe's greatest infrastructure projects. Two double-lane roads, separated by a service passageway, and two electrified rail tracks will be included in the tunnel once it is finished. Additionally, it will be the longest combined rail and road tunnel in the entire world. The tunnel, which was originally intended to be a normal bridge, will reduce the distance between Lolland and Femern from 45 minutes by ferry to 10 minutes by car and 7 minutes by an electrified high-speed rail system that can go at 200 km per hour. Additionally, it will replace Scandline's popular ferry service between RDBY and Puttgarden, which is known in German as the Vogelfluglinie and in Danish as the Fugelflugslinge. The Regensburg Quarter The state-owned housing firm SW Nuremberg is developing Regensburg Quarter, a new residential neighborhood in the southeast of Nuremberg. The US$160.7 million United States dollars project calls for the construction of 381 chic and reasonably priced apartments in a range of sizes, from little one-bedroom apartments to enormous five-room apartments for large families with kids. Ten smaller business spaces, various kid-friendly playgrounds, a family center, and a daycare facility will all be made available. The essential upgrades to the traffic infrastructure paid special attention to the older trees that ought to be protected. A multi-story parking garage houses the majority of the necessary parking spaces. This leads to the creation of an environmentally pleasing residential neighborhood, which, for instance, establishes a lizard biotope in honor of the environment and species preservation. The top-notch outdoor amenities raise the standard of living for locals and neighbors and encourage social interaction. Using sustainable building materials and maximizing building upkeep are equally as vital to building to an energy-saving level as a KFW Efficiency House 55. One of the most expensive projects in the SW, the initial phases of the project were completed with the assistance of the state-owned housing association Siedlungswert Nuremberg. Stuttgart 21 in the context of the Trans-European Networks, Stuttgart 21 is a railway and urban development project that is a part of the newly constructed and refurbished Stuttgart-Augsburg Railway as well as the main line for Europe, Paris, Vienna. Its centerpiece is a renovated Stuttgart Hauptbahnhof, which is encircled by 57 km of brand new trains, including 25 km of high-speed lines and 30 km of tunnels. The historic Paul Bonitz Hauptbahnhof building that connects the existing lines will be at a straight angle to where the new lines will intersect underground. By way of a brand new tunnel, the Filder Tunnel, the stuttgart wendlingen high-speed line would link the renovated Hauptbahnhof with a new Filder station, Filderbahnhof, serving the airport, the Messe, Trade Fair, and the Filderstadt neighborhood. The route would then join the proposed wendlingen ulm high-speed railway. The carriage sidings would be moved to the area near Unterdurkheim station to make room for construction. Digital Park Feckenheim, in Turkshin, a European supplier of carrier and cloud-neutral colocation data center services, intends to construct the Digital Park Feckenheim in order to increase its presence in the east of Frankfurt. The major goal of the Digital Park Feckenheim project is to create an innovative, environmentally friendly complex with 11 data centers and a 100,000 square meter IT area. As part of the project, the Egan Ironman building, which is listed, will undergo resource-conserving renovations. The project will be created in accordance with international environmental building standards, making it an innovative large-scale project that, in the long run, strengthens Frankfurt as the center of the internet and cloud computing as well as the skeleton of the digital infrastructure. Frankfurt Airport Terminal 3 Construction Project In this project, Frankfurt Airport, the fifth-largest city in Germany and one of the world's major financial centers, will build a new terminal on the site of a former U.S. military base to the south of the main international airport. The main terminal building, which has 14 million passenger capacity, includes piers H&J, 
a marketplace, lounges, and an automated baggage conveyor system. It also has arrival and departure floors. Similar to the current Skyline, Report is building a new Skyline to connect Terminal 3 with the two existing terminals. The journey from Terminal 1 to Terminal 3 will only take 8 minutes, including a brief stop at Terminal 2. Along with the new Skyline, it will be simple to get to Terminal 3 by taxi, coach, or car. There are 8,500 parking places available in the garage next to the terminal for drivers to use. There are also a large number of bike parking spaces. In addition to the operator for port support during the tendering process, the project comprises the engineering firm Kanzler GmbH, whose goals include the design of building automation, air conditioning, heating, ventilation, and sanitary engineering. 5. Markisch's Zentrum Modernization Project on the intersection of Semptenberger Ring and Wilhelmsruher Dam in Berlin's Reinickendorf district, work is being done on the Markisches Zentrum Modernization Project. In addition to a 12-story residential tower that was erected in 2001-2002, the project contains a commercial center with over 50,000 M2 of retail space, restaurants, offices, and health facilities. Some of the current structures will be renovated as part of the Markisches Zentrum Modernization Project while others will be torn down and replaced with new ones. The current 55,000 M2 area will be expanded by 7,000 M2 by the time the project is finished, and the Market Hall, or Markthale, which is situated in the center of the center, will feature more than 100 units for shopping, entertainment, and recreation as well as a variety of cafes and restaurants. The plan also incorporates an open design concept that will combine nearby open spaces to enhance the neighborhood as a whole. The Contemporary Center will offer a wide range of shopping options as well as services for leisure and entertainment. Karlsruhe Combined Solution Tunnel Project The third largest city in the German federal state of Baden-Württemberg, Karlsruhe, which was formerly spelled Karlsruhe in English, is congested. The Karlsruhe Combined Solution Tunnel is a project that aims to make the city more attractive while maintaining its pedestrian-friendly atmosphere. The idea calls for building a 3.9-kilometer light rail tunnel that crosses Kaiserstrasse from west to east and branches southward at the Marktplatz station toward Ettlinger Strasse. This tunnel is a component of the city's public rail traffic beneath the road, with a total of seven subterranean stops. The Marktplatz and the Kaiserstrasse, which is the main shopping street in Karlsruhe, will be classified as pedestrian-only areas without rails or trams. Berlin Eye Data Center Campus in Brandenburg Park on a 13-acre parcel of land in Brandenburg Park, off Bundesstrasse 101, which runs from Berlin, the capital of Germany, on the B96 and ends in Auertown on the B169, Vantage Data Centers is developing the Berlin Eye Data Center campus. Vantage Data Centers is a leading global provider of hyperscale data center campuses. The two multi-story, Cutting-edge data centers on the 250,000 square foot, 24,000 square meter campus, when it is fully constructed, will provide a combined 32 MW of vital IT load. The project's first phase, which is expected to be finished in early 2022, will have an 8 MW IT capacity with an average density of 300 with SF, 3.23 kilowatts, M2. Vantage will provide clients with renewable energy options at the Berlin Eye Data Center campus as part of its environmental sustainability effort to lower carbon emissions. The building will have a very effective cooling system that uses outside air sparingly, and it will be able to join district heating programs to recycle waste heat. Additionally, the campus will have EV charging stations, increased green space, on-site solar energy generation for non-critical areas, and subterranean drainage to control runoff into nearby waterways. Keeler Ford Shipbuilding Facility Development Project The Keeler Ford Shipbuilding Facility Development Project is being carried out by a joint venture between Zublin Stuttgart, Structural Engineering, and Zublin North. It includes the building of a new industrial plant that will define the skyline in an integrated seven-story office building for ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems. The new building, which is approximately 170 m long and up to 70 m wide, has seven production halls for submarine parts that are divided by firewalls and concrete walls that are 32 m high. It also has an administrative building that is connected to it that has offices, communal areas, and a canteen spread out over seven stories. A total of 17,000 m3 of concrete, 3,900 t of reinforcing steel, and an additional 2,500 t of steel for supporting structures inside the halls are required for the project as a whole. There seems to be one general principle that governs humanity's construction practices, larger is better. 
more credit tends to be given to costly and grandiose structures for their creativity and, frequently, their ability to surpass previously unfathomable limitations. Is it worthwhile, though? Although these buildings are astounding and represent a new era for Germany, we believe that the large sums of money invested in them would have been better used to address some of the nation's more pressing issues, such as those affecting the Germans' day-to-day -day life. What do you think about this? Do you think these initiatives are ideal for the nation's economy and tourism, or do you think the country's choices should be more thoughtful? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more content.